Hello, I'm Bood, and welcome to episode 17 of Stronger Together, my series here with the mighty Tame Valley. As always, thanks for joining me. Smash the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, go and check out all my other content. And if you really want to help me out, you can always become a patron. Um, we are midway through the season in League One. It started off fantastic in our first game. But as that carried on, well, we may have hit a wall in certain aspects. We've definitely hit walls in other aspects, I think. Some of the fairy tale might be over, but we'll find out. I'll talk about that um, in a bit more detail. Got a great interview for you today as well on Sky Sports. Live from Dubai. Um, and also, I've had tons of pictures sent in. All the shirts are slowly starting to roll in from batch one, um, which is fantastic. So, because of that, a lot of other people have seen them shirts in real life now and gone, ooh, quite like them. So, the company brought them back on sale. It was supposed to have finished. And they're going to be on sale for two weeks. There'll be more details on the Sky Sports interview. Um, so, if you missed out and you think, I really want one, you can get one. Brilliant, isn't it? Um, so before we start, let's have a, a little cheeky montage of some of the shirt pictures I've had sent in. How good were they? So yeah, thank you to everyone who's sent a picture in so far. Don't forget, if you haven't yet, do it and I'll feature you in a further episode. If I look tired, it's because it's three in the morning. I can't sleep. I've had the worst night's sleep ever. My little boy's been all over the show. Me big lad, me, me three-year-old, nearly four. Nightmare. It's a nightmare. So I can't sleep, so I thought, why not film a Tame Valley episode for you guys? Now, we're on the finances page. Um, you can see money's all right. It might get better if we end up selling some players. Hopefully I don't have to, but things will be changing. One thing that might change, especially at the end of the season, is my little boy, Jackson, could become our player. His contract's up. Um, I talked to his agent, and his agent said he's well happy with joining. Um, contract negotiations can start immediately because his contract's running out. So he's got interest from Huddersfield as well. Um, but we've given him, offered him a contract. He, he seems happy with it. Hopefully he accepts it. Huddersfield, though, are also after Brian Kane. They've put a bid in for him. I've said no. It's a few other players I'm worried about. I'm not worried about the captain. The Americans really want Lee Greenshields. And as we know, I think Lee Greenshields would probably fancy it. Sunderland are interested too, but that'd probably be a step down these days. No offence. Um, Rail Salt Lake really want him. I mean, they're offering me 1.5 million every time. The club are gonna the club are gonna take over if them bids keep getting higher. The club are gonna sell him and hopefully they don't. We've got to get through this window and get through the season. It's Jacko I'm worried about. I will be, I can't lie. I am a bit worried. We've got a good little right back coming through, I think. And Joe Page will be happy with this because Joe's a great player and this is his main rival, but this is one of our own. He's a regen from our academy. And obviously I put a lot of money into the academy. It started off average, but we've built the facilities and um, we've produced a player like Jacko. I look at the clubs that want him. If they start putting bids in, you're probably going to lose him. You could also lose our legendary left winger, CP. Because he has moaned about playing time. We've sorted issues out in the past. He's a good guy. Um, now he's decided he wants to leave better playing time but it also said somewhere he wants to leave for a new challenge I'm guessing you can see that my head might be in the way wants to move for a new challenge what are you on about so um yeah this is what i'm thinking now are we slowly starting to see the band break up and if that happens then i'll be devastated we are fourth in a very very tough league with a team that's lacking a bit of quality Brian Kane still scoring. He's in fact the best player in the league. 
and we're fourth. I mean, it's been a battle this year, and we're not that far off the top. Only a point. It is very, very close. Look at that. It's been fun. Some of the games have been shocking. I mean, we've actually lost eight games, which for us is mental because we've done so well in the past. But, um, you know, you hit that wall eventually, but the brotherhood is getting us this far. If that starts breaking up, I'm going to have to start bringing players in. I don't think we'll be the same team, but we'll have to wait and see what happens, eh? It's all part of the story. And these are the results. So, of course, we beat Huddersfield 2-1. I kept winning. Won the next couple of games. Got beat off Lincoln. If we go down, went on a fantastic winning streak. And I'm thinking, God, this league's easy. I'm going to be actually quite embarrassed to make the next video because it's just looking too easy, isn't it? How are we doing it? But then reality started to hit. The squad started to get hurt a bit. Um, at one point, I was so struck by injuries and fitness. I had a centre half at left wing, which never helps. Uh, Dougie Black hasn't played up front again, unfortunately for Dougie. But you can see, look, we have been a bit, a bit shaky. We've spent time at the top. We've spent time close at the top, and then we're slowly starting to just drift off. Even though we've done well in our last three games, let's go back to the squad. Don't just check in. And you can see the guys who are doing the business. Obviously, Kano, Martin Smith, best centre half possibly in the world. Uh, the unflushable still doing his bit. My boy has been helping out. In fact, his manager actually said to me, because I played him up front once. He went, You told me he's playing on the wing. If you do that again, I'm bringing him back. I was like, Bloody hell. He's an actual striker as well. So it'd be nice to actually get him on board because if we're going to lose someone like CP. It's good to have my boy. I'm just oh, panicking. I am panicking. I don't want to lose anyone. I want to lose them on my own terms. Got a check in on the super sub, Lee Masters. Um, eight starts, 17 sub appearances. 10 goals. Still scores for fun. So we're in the Caribbean Cup and um, I decided to B-team it. And weirdly, my little B-team um, beat Sheffield Wednesday. 2-1. I mean, I had to bring players on to do it, but still. I was well happy with that. And I put the big boys out against QPR and we got beat. So, yeah, take from it what you will. But yeah, I'm enjoying it. I've, I've enjoyed this season because it feels more like a battle. I feel like we're getting challenged more. I'm not going out of the game thinking I'm going to win. Over to the FA Cup and we started off fantastic. Gave a few guys a game. and Beating Milo, who I've never heard of, I'll be honest with you. No offence. 6-1. Unflushable on fire. CP got one. Masters got one. Very good. Unflushable with a 10. I know it's weaker opposition, but that guy loves 10s. We then faced Eastley. And again, I gave guys a game. Um, if you looked at the stats, so probably just scraped our way through there. Then we did it again. Sheffield Wednesday can't beat my B team. <laughs> Not to mark that cup as well. 1-0. One, one player I'm a little bit worried about, and he's, he's a great player, is Davil Motion. Now, his natural fit, this is only 7. Um... And he, he's starting to really struggle to get to end of, the end of a game. I'm consistently having to bring him off because he's absolutely shagged. So, yeah, that, that's one worry as well. I mean, whatever happens at the end of this year, I know things will start to change. And some of you who are patrons who love the series, who are part of the team, might have to go. I'm not saying Darrell's going, but uh, I'm definitely going to have to bring some players in. I think there's some good players out there, actually, that I've been scouting. It's just bringing myself to that, knowing that the the story, the fairy tale of these young boys that have grown up together could start breaking away. So if we do start losing some players, what could come through the ranks? What could save me some money? Well, this is all the young players arranged by potential. And we have got Andy Matheson, who could maybe fill in that role. He's 16, Scottish. Pushed Joe Page back to number one, guaranteed. Uh, and have Andy as his backup. Uh, I've got a lot of central midfielders, which isn't very helpful. Uh, Josh Loft's a right winger. He looks all right. We've got Martin Hart. Um, Josh Mooney's in the first team. He's done a really good job for me. He's a beast, to be fair. Uh, Lenny is the other guy I was thinking about. Look at his passing and his teamwork. I think he could become a good player. He needs to get promoted at some point. Um, and then, to be fair, I've got um, Simon Hopkinson, who looks good. Look how good he looks. So if CP goes, maybe Jackson can go out on the left and put Simon on the right. Got a ton of good players on loan. A lot of good young players. Some some are like. 
Um, so I'm probably going to see how they all do. Players like Stuart Clare, who is a left winger. He could replace CP if CP decides to go. Let's get into today's game. But before we do, we're going to go to a pre-recorded interview in Dubai with the legend that is CP. Um, just before he flew back for today's game. We are pleased to have Team Valley left winger Christian Peter here with us today. Or as he's more commonly known by the fans and players, CP. Thank you for speaking to us. Oh, guys, I'm really happy to be here. Obviously, I'm uh, looking forward to talking about the entertainment industry and all these other wonderful things. And uh, yeah, what if you need I'm here for? Right, well, uh, we must start by asking you about the reports that you were unhappy at the club last season. Apparently, you wanted more playing time, something large amounts of fans agree with, seeing as you scored the fourth most goals all year. Well, yeah, obviously, I'm unhappy. I think, uh, you know, I get that Coach Boot has high standards, but at the end of the day, if I look at my record over the last four seasons, you know, coming off the bench doesn't suit my playing style. All these accusations and allegations about my fitness issues are questionable, if I'm perfectly honest. Uh, so, yeah, I'm not surprised that the fans are asking questions. Fair enough. Now, with the arrival of the manager's youngest son, who can also cover in your position, do you think you'll play even less this season? Oh, come on. I mean, look, <laughs> let's get the facts straight. First off, this is a kid that chose... Denton, Denton, over Tain Valley. Do you think the fans are going to forget this? This is a kid who, when he signed his first professional contract, didn't choose to play for his own father coming out of the gates. So no, on that level alone, I'm not you know, feeling challenged at all. If you look at my record for the last four seasons, I've had more minutes than him, scored more goals than him, had more assists than him. Last season, he didn't even get out of the reserves. And you know, let me ask you this. If the coach wasn't his father, would he have signed for the Team Valley? Right. Uh, well, can we see so a possibly force a move away like Gareth Walsh, maybe to the United Arab Emirates? I mean, look. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to you know, say too much about what happened with Gareth. I know that there's potentially some not foot, so, you know, some non footballing reasons as to why he left the team. Uh, you'll have to ask the uh, the senior management in terms of what happened there. Um, but yeah, look, obviously it's, it's, it's no hidden secret that I spent a lot of time in Dubai. It's when you might, my prime, my primary home, uh, going forward, look, I, th- I have to keep an open mind. I want to play international football. I want to represent my country. Uh, I'm not going to do that sitting on the bench. Well, it's no secret that apart from being a football player, you are a successful businessman and part of your business does require you to travel to Dubai several times in the season. Do you think this has contributed to your injuries and has it affected your form? I think so, no. Um, as I said, I, you know, these, these allegations of my fitness issues and how they're related to me traveling is an absolute nonsense. Uh, I'm sure you know, I mean, I fly business absolutely everywhere. If you fly business, you, you're flying in comfort. Although looking at yourself, I'm not sure you've ever experienced business class. I don't know. Um, I but, you know, who am I to judge? But yeah, look, I've got my successful businesses. I'm not going to be ashamed of that. And maybe that plays a role in Coach Boot uh, not selecting me for the first team. Finally, we hear there's some photos have emerged from when you did some modelling for a catalogue in your youth. Now, Dougie Black apparently found some very revealing pictures of you wearing nothing but some very tight briefs. Is it true that you had hundreds of copies printed and then plastered them all over your car and your locker? And how do you feel about it? Uh, Hold on. You said Dougie Black did this? Yeah, Dougie Black. Son of a... Mate, yeah. You're the guy that posted those photos on the, on the inside the clubhouse, on the car? Dude, you're my agent. How could you do this, Dougie? What do you mean it's good PR? Nobody saw this except the guys in the clubhouse. D- D- Dougie? No, no. I've told you three strikes you're out. As my agent, you corrected me and said, no, no, no. Baseball's about nine innings. Well, you know what? This is your seventh chance. Seventh, two more and you're out. I'm done with you, Dougie. So welcome to Block Sages Park. Um, we start to pick up a bit of form. Uh, Lee Mass is starting because Kane isn't fully fit yet. He's nearly there. So he's on the bench with CP, who's got a little bit of jet lag. Jet lag. But this is going to be a massive game. So they kick off. Swindon is actually the hometown of our goalkeeper, Lee Greenshields, who, you know, there's a chance we could get a big bid in from an American team. They are obsessed with him in America. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. We'll see what happens with Jacko. Here he is. 
he's got a lot of interest, hasn't he? But yeah, I think the band might start breaking up soon. It's, it was always going to happen eventually. Things are going to start to change. It's how how can we adapt? Can I promote some of these kids? Can they come in and do a good enough job, a better job? You never know. It might be what we need if we start progressing, keep going. Um, but a great chance of going up again this year. I don't think it's going to be as simple as last year. Um, it's definitely not going to be as simple. It's going to be um, a tough ask, maybe a bit of drama. But um, I just want to do a big thank you as well to CP, who does live in Dubai. Uh, connection was a bit shaky, but it's a long way away. But yeah, he is a lovely bloke, even though he's, he's playing up to his character. Uh, he is a gen genuinely lovely, lovely guy. Anyway, here's my boy, Jackson, in the process of potentially signing a full-time contract. That was down there a bit, didn't it? Um, Swindon, though, on the counter. Fogden. Come on, boys. Good tackle back. In fact, I'm actually wearing this hat in honour of CP. He's a big NFL fan like myself, and he is actually a Cowboys fan, first and foremost. I think he likes Seattle as well, like I do. So, yeah, good bloke. He might come on, hopefully. Probably come on and score the winner, won't he? We'll see. Because I've got a song for CP, so I'm going to have to sing that. Bring him on in the second half and sing his song. Here's Taylor. Oh, good goal. Fuck. Back to Ben Ballantyne. He's going to give it out to Martin. You can cross it in. Martin's just adapted his game. So CP, but they're going to get down the wing a bit more. Here's the unflushable. Give it to Jacko. Can he whip it in? Come on, kid. Go on, kid. Go on, kid. Penalty. Penalty. Best thing is, my number one penalty taker, the best in the business, is Lee Masters, and he's on the pitch. Is he going to score for us? Pick that out. It's like freaking Bruno Fernandes. Come on. It's going to be us getting the ball and going on a counter. Come on, come on. No, 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 no. Go they're defending, but they're going to pick it back up and put that pressure back on us. It's right in the danger zone, but we're being a bit scrappy. We're being scrappy. We need to get the ball, control it, and play Valley football. Oh, my God, Lee. Why are they pinging a minute you from freaking miles away? Like, come on, Jax. Come on. Show everyone why we're giving you a proper contract. Crosses it in. Oh, flush a ball. Get in. He's got a license to kill. Love it. So there we go. What a first half display. Eh? I'm loving this. Well, they've all had a rest and a drink. So yeah, I'm not making any changes just yet. Um, I have seen, I've not seen it, but people have sent me pictures of Evolving Mindset on the ad boards. So keep your eyes out, peeps. Apparently it's happening. It's going to get picked up by Martin Smith. He's played on the left wing in one game this season. <laughs> Motion to Ben Ballantyne. Back to Motion, the Frenchman. Gives it out to Jacko. Can he whip it in? Whip it in, you turd. Gives it Motion. Boom. Oh. oh, I'll take that. Unflushable. I wasn't expecting that then. So, like I said, shirt's back on sale. Loads of people said they wanted one. So, they're going to put back on sale for two weeks from Saturday to I think it's February the 6th or something. Off the top of my head. Um, so, if you missed out and you thought, do you know what? I really wanted one. They actually look quite good. I want to do my bit, ooh, mental health, because that's what you'd be doing. And does shirt sale money goes to him? Some of it. It's Swindon. It's, they're going to shoot from here and probably score. Well done, Lee. Did you save that then? He tipped it over, finally. CP is a legend. He always makes a sing. When he starts to dribble, running down the wing. He's so good. We hope he stays for life. We love him, we'd let him shag our wife. See what I mean though, Daryl Motion, a few of them are tired, but Daryl Motion mainly gets knackered, he really struggles. Um, <clears throat> I was nearly going to sub him off, I might do. Oh my god, come on boys. I might bring Rodriguez on just to freshen it up for the last five minutes, but I can't take my eyes off this game, it's doing me head in. It's like non-stop. There you go, see, can't take your eyes off it. Freaking hell. Well there we go, we've give you an entertaining game. Swindon probably should have won it. They scored some absolute worldies, but we did enough. We fought hard there, and that's what we have to do. We haven't got the same quality. Point that leaves us um, in fourth. We are now what, three points off the top, so, you know, automatic promotion ain't out of it, although a bit of playoff drama would be fun. We're four points clear of Portsmouth, and a good, what, five, seven points clear of Gillingham, so things are looking decent. I mean, you can't knock this, really. Well, thank you for tuning in, you guys are legends. I really do appreciate the support with this series. Um, Honestly, I really, really do. Thumbs up, comments, 
and your view anyone who watches an advert because that helps me out you don't have to become a patron just watch an advert that really helps and like i said shirts back on sale for two weeks if you want one and and thank you keep your eyes out for a few new bits of videos because hopefully we've got some story videos coming out pretty soon especially if i get furloughed at work we'll find out in a week or two but thank you hope you're happy hope you're safe hope you come back for the end of the season which could be epic it will be epic won't it come on the valley i'm booed bye bye